Okay, this is my self-portrait. My name is Zachary Green. This is the first picture. It's called The Persistence of Memory. As you can see in the picture, there's a lot of melting clocks, a uh, very vivid color, and it's a nice picture. So here's some background information on the persistence of memory itself. This piece was created in 1931 by Salvador Dali. It is a painting and was painted with oil paint and bronze. It is known for being one of the most known pieces of surrealism, and this means that the painting has a very abstract concept and it can be interpreted in many ways. This piece was given to the Museum of Modern Art by an anonymous donor and remains there to this day on display. And the main meaning of this piece is the time and the passing of it, and anyone can interpret time and in how they want because time is seen differently through everyone's eyes. Um, this piece represents me in many ways. The piece is all about time and has a lot of interpretation within it. And my life's time is something that I can never get enough of. Time is one of the things in the world that no one has control, and there is only so much of it in your lifetime until it runs out. I feel that with this piece, I see melting clocks as time being wasted, and I spend a lot of my days overthinking and stressed out. And it's something that I like to work on because time is scarce and I like the clock and like the clocks, it can be wasted and melted away very easily. I feel that this piece is best represented by the three the three angles being nature, identity, body and body and mind. And first of all, it relates to nature because in nature, time is a big part of life and what occurs in nature itself. Uh, the second angle relates to it is identity. It relates to this because it plays a role in everyone's identity and how one uses time and how it plays in their life defines them in ways and sculpts their identity as a whole. And lastly, it relates to body and mind. And this is the best, this is the biggest angle that time plays a role in with your body and mind utilizing time in a healthy way or in a poor way has an effect on your mind overall and body. So the next image I did was a Sunday afternoon. This image is, most of you wouldn't know this image, it's very famous. You might have seen it back in high school or middle school. Um, so Sunday afternoon, uh, this piece was created in 1884 by Georges Surat. It is an oil painting and is located now in the Art Institute of Chicago. This painting is famous for being the use of the pointless technique, for the use of the pointless technique on such a large canvas. It took him two years to complete this painting. And the piece represents me in a few ways. I feel this piece of the art depicts a really good and relaxing time outdoors, and outdoors plays a big role in my life. And I'm always doing something outside, whether it's being active or uh, fishing, playing sports. And I use the outdoors like this, like in this image, as a place for me to relieve stress and relax. Um, and also, I feel that this piece relates to two angles the most, the first being nature and the second being class. The piece relates to nature because it's outside, and the main element it's trying to capture is like the good time outside. And then second of all, um, the next angle relates to his class. And I feel like it's a very small part of the painting. But in the painting, the viewer can tell the people look upper class and they're in a nicer area. The third picture is Cafe Terrace at Night. Now, this is one of my most favorite paintings. Um, so Cafe Terrace at Night is a painting made by Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh, he's a Dutch painter. He's one of the most famous painters of all time. You've definitely heard his name come up at one point. He created this piece in 1888 and it is known it is, no, it is unknown how long it took to create, and the piece is an oil painting, and it's best known for its attention to detail in the restaurant. For example, if you look close, you can see the multiple tables drawn along with the server and people, and this took a lot of detail and diligence, and it looks very, you know, that's why it makes it so important. This piece is really important to me for because ever since I was younger, I had this painting in my house, and I've loved it ever since, and my father bought it when I was younger. I feel like the color in this piece is what makes it my favorite painting. The yellow and the orange make it pop, and I like the scenery of it as well. The color I feel represents me in a way because I feel like I'm a very happy and bright person and the color in this picture somehow depicts my personality in some ways. And then a social angle this piece relates to is an environment and the environment is piece, the environment was pieces at night in southern France and there's a cafe and it's lit up and and the lighting on the night with it lights up the night with this color and the main purpose of this painting is to show the viewer the nice environment and the warmth with it. Okay, the next one I did is the stinker. This is a statue. And the artist who made this was Auguste Rodin. He's a French sculptor from 1840 to 1917. Um, so this, um, there were multiple versions of the sculpture made by him and others, but the main statue was made was located in Paris. So the statue is around 73 inches high and is meant to represent philosophy. And I feel this statue represents me in a few ways. And the first way being um, to always think things through. As you can see in the image, the statue is a thinking pose, and I feel me and him can relate. I also overthink a lot, so, you know, thinking and overthinking relate in some ways, and I end up sitting somewhere thinking through things all the time. I feel like this relates to memory and body and mind. First of all, memory, you know, all your thoughts and worries are stored in your memory, and then body and mind. When you're trying to think, think like he is, wait, 
body and mind, every thought you have takes place in your mind. And depending on what mindset you have, it can affect your physically, physically as well. Um, last picture I did was a friend in need. This is, I love this. This is a really nice painting of the dogs. So a friend in need. This piece is a well-known painting for many, and it's a piece done by Cassius Marcellus Coolidge. And this Coolidge was an American artist. It's very famous from the 19th century, most known for his whole collection of dogs. You know, he does his over like, I think 17 paintings in this collection of dogs playing poker, pool, etc. These images end up being used in a lot of calendars and homes. And the one I chose to focus on was A Friend in Need. It's obviously the most famous one, painted in 1903. This piece is a very enjoyable one for me. I feel it represents my personality in a few ways. First of all, I see myself as a very funny person. This picture represents my humor in a way. Also, I really enjoy playing poker with my friends. And as you look closely in the picture, if you want to scroll back, I'll scroll back for a second. You can see the two dogs in the front, one sliding an ace under the table. This, you know, this relates to me and my friends playing poker because someone's always cheating. So it kind of relates to that in a way. And I feel the angle relates to is nature and everything about this image is out of the ordinary and it doesn't happen in nature. And that's what makes it so cool. And uh, that's it. Uh, but that was, 